Hi, I'm Emily, Developer Advocate for Linea, and I'm here today to do a video walkthrough of how to deploy a smart contract on Linea using Foundry. Um, so we're actually just going to be walking through the quick start instructions on the documentation. Uh, so if you go to docs.linea.build, um, you can find the Foundry quick start under developers, quick start Foundry. Uh, so the first thing you'll need to do is make sure your wallet is set up to be able to connect to Linea. If you have your MetaMask wallet, um, you're going to be able to just default have it within um, the networks. Do you know that uh, you'll have to make sure test networks are on, though, in order to see it? Uh, but now that you have your wallet set up with Linea, uh, we can fund it. So we'll need to use ETH on Linea um, to transact and to deploy our contracts. How do we get it there? We'll have to bridge over from the Girly test network onto the Linea Girly test network. Um, so you can get Girly ETH by going to a uh, faucet. So there's a bunch of faucets here. My preferred faucet is going to be Paradigm. With Paradigm, you will have to um, validate, I guess, your existence uh, using uh, your Twitter account. But otherwise, you can hit... Um, Paste in your contract, at, uh, not contract, your wallet address here. Hit claim. I already claimed for today, so I can't do it again, but that is the flow. Um, and so now that you have girly ETH, we can go ahead and bridge. Here are more detailed instructions. We'll just go ahead and navigate to the token bridge. We use hop. Um, hit girly. Hit linea. Let's transfer over one ETH. And we can hit send. Um, this will ask us to switch over to uh, girly. I already have a lot of Linea ETH, so I don't need to do that, but you can basically hit send and it should send it over. So now that we have all of our ETH ready to go, let's actually download Foundry to use. Um, so you'll need to open up our terminal, um, do this guy, uh, and then once you download it, you'll have to open up a new terminal. Um, I'm using um, iTerm. Uh, which is why I was able to do a split stream, split screen, or you could just use the default terminal from um, Mac, or if you're on Windows, uh, your terminal for Windows. Anyways, Foundry is installed, so let's go back here. We can actually just create a tutorial. So we can initialize a tutorial. Let's go into it. Um, Open it up. So I'm opening it up here on VS Code. Um, as you can see, it already comes with a just very simple contract, test, um, and then a script to deploy, um, or sorry, to interact with. And now we can basically just do a forge create. Um, you'll need to add in a private key. Um, so in order to get your private key, you'll need to go back to MetaMask, um, click here, account details, export private key, um, and type your MetaMask password. Obviously, I don't want to show you guys what that looks like, so I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for right now, um, so I can grab that key, you paste it, um, Key. I'm going to set it up as an environment variable um, so you guys can't see it. Uh, but now if I share my screen again, so I'm in a terminal that was opened up through VS Code. But anyways, um, for create, uh, so the RPC endpoint, you just swap it out for rpc.girly.linea.build. It's a permissionless public testnet right now, private key. Um, and like I said, I set this as a variable. Um, so you guys don't know what I'm using. Whoops. Oh. And the run should be successful. So it's compiling and now it's deploying. Um, and we will wait for a little bit. And it's done. Cool. So that was deploying with Foundry. Um, I hope you guys try it out yourself. Um, if you do, let us know. You can find us on Twitter at Linea Build, um, on Lens, Linea.Lens, as well as our website, Linea.Build. Cool. See ya.